Hey friends, today we are hanging out in New York City. We're gonna be attending the New York Comic Con and I'm here with the Roosevelt's crew so we're gonna be going around the convention floor checking out all the awesome cosplay and also some of the vendor boots and then we're gonna sneak into the city, eat at an iconic New York restaurant, maybe do an attraction and just have a beautiful New York kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. I have been spending lots of time in the city and at the New York Comic Con, but I'm actually staying in Weehawken and I'm taking the ferry back and forth to the city and it only costs $9. It's really pretty and it's a nice boat ride and I like it here. Weehawken's very nice. The ferry is going to be coming any second here, but I wanted to point out that here in Weehawken is where the famous Hamilton duel happened. And here it is, the famous dueling ground of Hamilton and Burr. Here on the flats of Weehawken on July 11th, 1804, Alexander Hamilton was shot by Aaron Burr. And you guys know what happens after that. And isn't that cool? It's a nice little monument they have here. I never actually watched Hamilton before, but growing up I was really into history, so I knew about the Hamilton duel, and it's kind of cool that I got to be here and actually stay. It's literally like walking steps from my hotel, and now I think the ferry's going, so we gotta rush over. I was busy looking at the statues, and the uh, ferry showed up, so we gotta rush over. I can see uh, a lot of cosplayers walking on the ferry already. How funny is that? I did not catch that ferry. I missed it by like seconds. I got right up to it and that's when they shut the gates. So we're gonna have to sit here and wait. It comes like every 20 minutes, so. <laughs> but I was rushing, I was rushing. Hamilton got me all caught up. <laughs> and here it comes. We're not gonna miss it this time. Ready to head on into the city. Wow, I feel like this is such a clean, nice ferry. Look at this. Very, very nice, but I think we're gonna go upstairs. I like a view. The weather is beautiful today. It's definitely a lot warmer than the first couple days I was here. The sun is actually out very nice. And just like that, we are in the city. And the Javits Center is right across from the waterway. Like literally a two minute walk. So how perfect is that? That was honestly a two minute walk and now we gotta go through security and then we are officially at New York Comic Con. And we have officially made it to the New York Comic Con. I'm wearing my Goonies Roosevelt shirt, the Truffle Shuffle, look at this. Isn't that a beaut? And uh, we're gonna head on in, show you guys some cool stuff. One of the things I already noticed is the food available at New York Comic Con is so much better than at the other cons. They have some awesome food vendors out here. They've got big gay ice cream, a Mac and truck. Is that Ecto Cooler? Holy moly, I believe that is Ecto Cooler. Oh my lord it is. I started the day with a coffee, but when I came across some Ecto Cooler, I had to switch it up. In the 80s, High C put out a Ecto Cooler beverage and it was my favorite growing up and I haven't had it in forever. And they're selling it here and I'm so excited. I gotta try it. Hopefully it tastes just like I remember. Amazing, nostalgic. Oh, what a way to kick off a Comic Con. We're gonna make our way up to the Roosevelt's booth so I can show you guys the awesome things they're doing. Hey friend! Good, good, enjoy the Comic Con. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna head on over to the Roosevelt's booth, but I'm gonna show you guys some cool things on the way, some awesome cosplays, and then also just how massive this place is. Holy moly. There are a lot, a lot of people. Voldemort is actually going up the escalator right now, and Sonic is coming down. Look at that, I mean. <laughs> This is really good. Oh, also we got Jack Skellington. Look at these co look at these outfits coming down right now. The Sanderson sisters. This is great. Hi friends. <laughs> Too cool. This is awesome. What a day. I love your cosplay too, and I give give you my vote for my favorite cosplay oh, of the day. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Yes. So much. Well deserved. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Dedication is the key. Look at that. That's amazing. Is that Jeffrey from Toys R Us? Get out of town. 
get out of town. Look at that. That is so cool. Holy moly, this is all incredible. And yes, that was Jeffrey from Toys R Us. The actual one. They're reopening up Toys R Us in Macy's, and I think that's amazing. Can, can you give me a clobber in time? I, I'm sorry. I, I just had to ask. Never apologize. It's my catchphrase. Oh. Three, two, one. It's clobber in time. Loved it. Worth every moment right there. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is so busy here. I really am kind of lost. So I think we're just going to head right on over to the shirt, uh, over to Roosevelt's. We're going to regroup from there, though. That's the end of the line. Hey, look at this. That's the way. End of the line. Here we are. <laughs> you made it. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, friends. Hi. How are you? Very cool. Oh, nice. Look at this. We're getting a group shot. Time for a group photo. The Roosevelt's booth this year is actually doing mystery boxes, which is cool. There's only 50 a day, and it's $120, and you can get like up to like four shirts in there. It's a guaranteed three shirts, so it's a good deal. And we got lots of other exclusives, not for the con, just really good ones that they're selling today. And I love it. It's a good time. The mystery boxes are so much fun. We're gonna see if we can buy a couple of more ones because I just, I just, I like, like, I like the suspense. I like, like, feeling like, what are we gonna get? Is it gonna be something super cool or is it gonna be something super lame? So we're gonna go around and buy some more mystery boxes. But that one for Roosevelt's is phenomenal because if you get four shirts, then it's like thirty dollars a piece, and that's like a, an amazing deal. And I switched over to the Dark Crystal one. The Dark Crystal is celebrating its 40th anniversary, and I love it. And I love Labyrinth too. So we just keep Keep moving along, finding mystery boxes, and exploring the uh, convention. One of the things I like most about coming to cons is it's a place where a lot of like small businesses or local artists get to showcase all of their stuff. And one thing that caught my eye is the autistic tiger. This is Tiger and he is an artist and he draws upside down and then sells pictures. Look at this. That's actually him drawing right now. And that's really cool. I've met Tiger a couple of times and they sell off his drawings here. Lots of Disney, so it's really, really awesome. Most of the big activities for the New York Comic Con take place on Saturday and Sunday. Today is kind of just a warm up. Here is another mystery box. It's a $12 mystery box, and it says that there's over 10,000 in prizes. And I think most of them are Funko Pops, but some of them are like autographs, and you can also win a PS5. There's a lot of stuff in there, so I think we're gonna roll our roll the dice and get a couple of them. See what we can get. I mean, I know some of the Funkos are worth a lot of money, and they have a whole bunch on the wall here. So they said basically it's a one in four autograph chance. So I got four of them. Four of them, and we'll see what we can get. All right, Pete, you're taking the lead here. He's opening them up. Let's see. Box number one. Doing this carefully. Don't want to damage anything inside. We got a Funko. Space Jam, it looks like. White Mamba. White Mamba. Okay. <laughs> That's the first one. Yeah. Moving on to number two. We got another Funko. And it is Lord Azrael with his demon, Stella Maria, from his Dark Materials. Dark Materials, very fancy. You know, I'm not even a Funko collector, but I just thought it's worth the gamble. It's worth the risk, you know? All right, we're going in for number three. We've got another Funko. It is Klaus from the Umbrella Academy. Well, that's actually a cool one. I like the Umbrella Academy. Some of these might be rare, and I don't even know. You might have to Google them. You never know. All right, are you ready? All right, for the last, last four. Last the one. autograph got to be in there. Last one. They said one and four. One and four, statistically. Yeah, 
We got another oh. Funko. This is Hunter Ron from Parks and Rec. Oh, that's a cool one, though. The Hunter Ron's a cool one, though. I like that. No autograph, but hey, it was fun. It was fun. All right, we're going to take a break from New York Comic Con and go grab a drink or a quick bite at a very unique place that I'm excited to show you guys. I'm actually excited to go to it. All right, we have made it to our destination and it is Brick Bar of New York City. I am so excited. I've always wanted to do this. It's a bar where you get to break stuff. You get to break bottles and glasses and cups and electronics and everything. Like you could just smash and destroy whatever they give you and you drink while you do it. Like this is a perfect New York Comic Con break right here. Oh, get it? Break. This place looks like it's so much fun and I can't wait to drink some beer and smash some things. And we brought out all of the uh, insiders, the Roosevelt insiders, and people that came and visited the booth and said hi and stuff like that. And we brought them along with us and uh, we decided to treat them to a fun experience here in New York City. So I'm, I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. You have to wear safety glasses before you actually break anything, but I like this place a lot. It's got Christmas lights and all the way in the back's the break bar. Cheers! After I drink this beer, I can actually smash it, and I'm kind of excited to do that. I think I'm just gonna chug the beer and then smash my glass. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers to everyone. You can just buy a whole entire bucket of glass, so if you don't want to drink all the drinks, and I think we uh, are going to do like a big group smash. It's going to just destroy it. Just, just smash bottles, smash glasses. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, cheers! Cheers! Yeah. bar is such a good time seriously such a boost of serotonin and you actually have to sign waivers and stuff like that wear eyeglasses for safety uh, not these ones the actual goggles and it was fun I liked it a lot and I know we're gonna have dinner later on but I want to grab a quick snack so maybe a slice of New York pizza they got a spot right next to it and uh, sounds pretty interesting all of these places are just blocks away from the New York Comic Con and they have Vito slices and ices and it looks like it's a good spot so I think we're gonna try a slice here. I'm very excited. I was half tempted to get a slice and an ice but I think I'm just gonna stick to the slice of pizza. I mean, but it is appealing. I mean, think about that. I mean, what if it was Sally? Sally's Icy and like Sally slices and ices. Wouldn't that have been a funny name but it's Vito slices and ices. Here is the slice. I decided to go with the good old pepperoni and it's definitely a very greasy, greasy piece of pizza. You can actually see it with the pepperoni cup. You can see all the grease inside there, but I love it. I love me a slice of greasy pizza and uh, we're going to dive in. Super, super greasy pizza and it's hanging on for dear life. So I'm going to have to take a bite before it actually falls apart here. Look at this. It's about to break. Oh no. Very good though. 100% not joking about the grease, watch. Look at that, holy moly. Look at that. Holy moly. That's a, that's a grease, that's a greasy pizza right there. It's not bad though, I'm not gonna lie. It's greasy but, greasy delicious. <laughs> Now it's time to head back over to the convention center. I love it. I, this has been a great day so far. Gotta hurry up, got nine seconds. Hurry up, Marie, the baguettes. <laughs> Look at how busy it is here today. Holy moly, right? It's so cool though, because if you stand here, you can just see a whole bunch of different cosplays. You can see Vision, Wolverine, Reptar, Grogu, a little bit of everything. It's really, it's actually, I would just ride the escalator up and down all day. 
I honestly feel like New York Comic Con is a lot bigger, like space-wise, than San Diego Comic Con or D23. And we've been to almost all the major ones this year, and I think we're gonna keep doing it. I also feel like this is probably the most amount of cosplayers I've seen all in like one group area. Look at this. It's very, very fun just walking through here. <laughs> very nifty. Oh, trying to go this way. There we go. Love it. That was so fun. There are a lot of big panels happening today, mostly just fan panels. We get to meet some of your favorite celebrities and a couple of cool reunions too. One of the things I would have loved to actually go to was the Smallville cast reunion. I love Smallville, but I think maybe later on tonight we might do the Back to the Future reunion where we're both going to see uh, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. That's at 6.30, so we'll see. We might actually just wait it out and go for it. I am about 100% certain we are going to do the Back to the Future reunion. We're going to be able to see Christopher Lloyd and meet Michael J. Fox, and it's going to be awesome to see them together. And uh, yeah, totally something worth it. And until then, we're just going to roam around the convention a little bit more and uh, explore. Since we plan on going to the Back to the Future reunion, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys the DeLorean from the Back to the Future musical that they have coming soon. I'm pretty positive the Kool-Aid Man is about to go into the DeLorean. I just witnessed the Kool-Aid Man trying to get in a DeLorean. Isn't that such a fun thing to say? Also, look at my friend right here. He actually has a hoverboard signed, and he got it signed by Michael J. Fox today and Christopher Lloyd. That's awesome, dude. That's cool. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> Bye. Since we're actually going to be going to the Back to the Future reunion, I'm not wearing anything Back to the Future, and I feel like I should. I mean, if we get to meet uh, uh, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd, it would be a highlight for me, and I want to be repping. You know what I mean? So, Roosevelt actually sells some Back to the Future hats, and I'm thinking about switching it out. Switching it out. I'm bald. Here we go. Oop. There we go. I like it. It actually matches my shirt a little bit too. Something else cool they're doing is uh, bat wheels. So kids can actually come drive like the old school styled uh, like cars. I remember I had one of these Jeeps when I was younger. It was so fun. And if they let adults do it, I would totally be doing this. But this is a cool, this is probably the most interactive thing I've seen here at the uh, New York Comic Con. They have one of these Amazon stores here where you just walk in and then walk out. Like it tracks what you purchase. There's no cash registers or anything. You literally just walk in and walk out. And I want to do it. I just want to do it because I've never done it before and it's so fun. I have always wanted to do one of these Amazon stores where you just walk in and then walk out. And I think we're going to go for it. I don't even know what I'm going to get, but I gotta get something. You, you scan your card and then you just walk in, grab whatever you want and then walk out. You don't like cash out. There we go, we're good to go. So we can just walk in and take whatever we want. What are we getting? Cheese. Cheese? Pepperoni. Pepperoni and cheese. <laughs> I'm literally doing this just to do it. You gotta do it to do it. Oh, you got Bud Light. Pick up whatever you can. I'm getting a Bud Light. I'm taking a Bud Light. Wait a second, look at this. And I'm gonna walk on out. Yeah, you're gonna walk right on out. Look at it. Right? Right? Shoplifter. I'm gonna walk out. Look at it. Cheers. That's it? I got pepperoni and cheese. Yeah. I got a butt light. I also thought about just wearing my hat like this, but I kind of like the look. What do you guys think? Like, I think it, I think it looks good. I like the flat brims, you know? Alright, it's time to make our way back down and uh, 
go to the Back to the Future reunion. Here is a look at the line to come into the Back to the Future reunion panel, and it is long. I like how they have just big open spaces, like very long like distance lines instead of a lot of switchbacks, which that's the way to do it. And here we are, look at this. This is so cool, they're actually bringing up anyone that is cosplaying for Back to the Future up on the stage so that they can have a big group photo. And just look at this, it is absolutely spectacular. I want to grab a quick photo to show you guys. Look at this. Get on your feet and make some noise for the one and only Michael J. reunion was everything I wanted it to be I cried I laughed I got goosebumps so cool the way that they were talking about the small details and just seeing uh, Michael J Fox and Christopher Lloyd like going off of each other like that it literally was just iconic it was giving me goosebumps and then when uh, they started talking about the Fox Foundation and Michael J Fox's you know uh, Parkinson's disease it was hitting me a little hard because my mom just recently got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease so it was it, it was a really good time I'm, I'm so happy that we got to come in here and we got to do it and uh, yeah so <laughs> great <laughs> it was amazing now that the convention is officially over for the day we made our way down the block to the legacy records this is a nice little bar lounge where we're gonna grab a drink and it's inside the henry hall and this place looks really fancy it says lay it down when you walk in the door and uh maybe we'll get something to eat here or somewhere else i think maybe we'll just get drinks here and then dinner somewhere else in the city I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna actually do tonight. We're gonna grab some drinks here and then make our way around the city, get something to eat, maybe visit some other spots, and just kind of take in the nightlife a little bit. Very nice, thank you. Fancy little old fashioned, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm happy that had taken away. That is brilliant. 
Now that we've had a couple of drinks and it was an amazing old fashioned, we made our way a little bit more downtown and uh, we are at the Ear Inn. Someone said this is one of the oldest bars in New York City and it has amazing food and I'm excited. I mean, I go wherever the suggestions are made. A lot of people told me to check out uh, some of the restaurants like a little bit more up past 14th Street or below 14th Street, as that, that's what I should say. And uh, yeah, this is one of them, so I'm very excited. Established 1817 AD and I like it. I'm excited. The Ear Inn. Like I said, this is one of the oldest bars in New York City. It says 1817 and there's a couple fun facts to it. I mean, apparently it is haunted and it used to be a brothel and also the Hudson used to actually come up to the bar itself so it used to be a waterfront location and now i mean it's completely different and i'm very excited to eat here like not too many people get to say they got to go to the old one of the oldest bars in new york city like i feel like it's it's a great honor also it's pretty crazy that the water like i said the hudson used to be right here that blows my mind and it's so nice in here we got food grog music and uh, poetry and also history and it's a very tiny place it's like a, a hole in the wall lots of cool stuff though I like weird ears everywhere. so the bar is called the ear Inn, and you can just see there's tons of ears everywhere in here that is such a cool thing i really like it in here and it's one of the oldest bars in new york city so i'm excited to try the food and the drinks they do have a food menu here and it's basically burgers, chili, and soup, and also chicken pot pie, which is kind of funny. And I think we're gonna grab some food. Grab some food, grab some beer. Take a look at the floors as we walk in. Look at this. This is the restroom. Craziness. North a Island, South Island. There you go. There's, there's, there you go. A fun game my friend introduced me to was trying to blindly draw, like blindly draw, the United States of America. And this was my attempt. I did cheat when it came over on this side. Shriner, this is what you got. You did pretty good. Accurate. I can name it all. Yeah. It's pretty fun. And then how about, then how about the kingdom? Yeah. yeah, and then we tried doing the United Kingdom. And this is the United Kingdom. And, and then this is yours. My United Kingdom slash Australia. <laughs> slash, all, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, here we go. Cheers. 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 Hey. First up is the potato carrot ginger soup. I'm all about soup and I'm also all about potatoes and carrots and oh it actually looks really good. And then on top of the soup we got hot and garlic shrimp. Holy moly look at that. That's good. Much too good. Here we go, a little hot and garlic shrimp. Phenomenal. And of course, we had to go with the house burger. Look at this. I like the bun. The bun is where it's at. Here we go. For the main event, they've got some old fashioned chicken pot pie. Holy moly, that is hot. And look at this buttery, flaky crust. Buttery, 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 flaky crust. I'm going to try to take a peek safe. Let's see if we can see under there. Oh my lord. Look at that. Look at that. Here we go, buttery flaky crust. That's good. 
And with that, I think we are done here today. The Ear Inn was such a fun spot. I'm so happy that we ended up coming down and uh, coming here. It was really cool. Learning about the history of the place is really awesome. You guys should look it up if you want more information. And I loved the whole entire day. Like, I feel like it's been an adventure since we got here at New York. And uh, I'm not too sure if I have any more videos to put out. But if not, then I guess I will see you guys uh, back in Florida. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! I know that we were starting to call it a night, but we kept the night going and made our way over to Greenwich and uh, we came to a very nice little karaoke bar and it's just, it's too good not to include. So, I hope you enjoy a little karaoke. And then, that's it. <laughs> Here we go.